everyone, it's Miss Library and Be the Book Bunny. We are back to read you not one, but two stories today. Are you ready? Beatrix, are you ready? Okay, go on your magic carpet. Good job. Are you guys on your magic carpet? Get on your magic carpet, quickly, quickly. Okay, today I need you to put your monster eyeballs in. Hmm? Ooh, good. Ooh. Put your monster ears on. Ooh, now I can see and hear your story with Miss Liber, but you're looking kind of scary. Okay, put your monster mouth in. Oh, wait a minute, zip that up. I, you're too scary for me. You know Miss Library's afraid of everything, so stop that. Oh, okay, put your seatbelt on. Click. You guessed it. We're going to Monsterland. I don't know if I want to go to Monsterland. Uh -huh. You sure you guys want to go? I, okay, okay, will you be brave for me, please? Because you know I'm scared of everything. Okay, okay, here we go. Are you ready? Seatbelts on, tight. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off, hold on everybody. Whoa. Was there a monster that just went behind me? Did you did you did you guys see something? I I I I can't I can't. What what? You want me to read my story? Okay okay. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna so tell you. The first story is called something maybe we can do. Go away, big green monster, by Ed Everly. Because you know I'm scared of everything. Okay. Hmm. Big green monster has two big yellow eyes. <gasps> A long, bluish, greenish nose. Uh -oh. A big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Two little squiggly ears. Mmm, scraggly purple hair. And a big scary green face. But wait a minute. Hold on a second. You know what? Let's tell this guy we're not afraid of you. Say, you don't scare us. Say it really loud. Yeah, you don't scare us. So say, go away. Yeah, go away, scraggly purple hair. Did you say it? Say it loud. Good. Oh, it worked. Look, you did it. Say, go away, little, two little squiggly ears. Did you say it? Let's see what happens. It worked. Go away, long, bluish, greenish nose. Good job. Let's see if it worked. Ah! <laughs> go away, big green face. Did you say it? Go away, big red mouth. Let's see if it worked. Ah! Go away, sharp white teeth. Let's see. <gasps> Go away, two big yellow eyes. It, it's working. Okay, this one I want you to say loud. Go away, big green monster. Yeah, and don't come back until we say so, right? Yeah, we're in charge, monsters. You know what? I think that's a good idea, and that's what I need to do, too. If I'm ever scared of something, I think I'm just going to say, go away. Like, if there's a ghost or a witch on Halloween, I'll say, just go away. And I think, I bet it's going to be like this monster. I bet it will go away. So remember that. If there's something you're afraid of, just say, go away. We're not scared of you. Hmm. I like that. All right, have another story. Another monster story. This one's called Your Pal Mo Williams Presents Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo was a terrible monster. 
<laughs> he couldn't scare anyone. <laughs> oh, isn't he cute? He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. That's a lot of teeth. He wasn't big like Eleanor. Painted nails. He wasn't just plain weird like Hector. <laughs> Look at Hector. <laughs> Leonardo, Leonardo tried very hard to be scary. <laughs> had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. The tuna salad? Okay. <laughs> Leonardo researched a lot of books looks like Miss Library until he found the perfect candidate Sam Leonardo snuck up on the poor unsuspecting boy dude 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 and Monster gave it all he had. Until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. Woohoo! Sam. Oh yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? <laughs> well, <laughs> my big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I, while I was still playing with it, and then he broke it on purpose, and it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, and I got so mad I kicked the table, and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poop that my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head, and I... I don't have any friends in my tummy hurts. That's why. <laughs> oh. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. It's okay. Aww. But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. Boo! Come back here. The end. Okay, well, maybe not all monsters are bad. And maybe we can tell the ones that we're scared of to just go away. So that, that, those were some good books, weren't they? I think I'm going to be able to use those thinking about scary monsters. I think that's going to help me be brave. How about you guys? What can you tell to go away? What if you tell... Miss Library to go away. What if you say, go away, Miss Library? Okay. <laughs>